Welcome into another edition of the Ram Round. I'm joined again with Florida men's basketball head coach Keith Ergo. Coach, 88-74, win against Dartmouth Monday night, your first win victory as the head coach of the Florida Rams. How'd it feel? You know what? It felt fantastic. Uh, and, you know, we've been working really hard since June 1st. So to enter that locker room and, and to, uh, to have a celebration with all these guys was, uh, was something that I've been dreaming of for a long time. So I appreciate them. They worked hard they, 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 uh, against a tough opponent who came in here ready to play, but we were able to fight and, and stage them off essentially from a big time start, which they had. And, and uh, um, just that locker room scene with then Dowson and celebrating with them uh, meant, meant the world to me. 88 points as we bring up. Now defensively, I know you talked about some areas you need to improve as we continue the season. What are some of the ways you look at improving and taking stuff from game one? Yeah, you know what? Obviously, offensively, that's great. We want to put up points. That's always nice. But we prepare every day for practice for nights when you're not making shots because that's going to happen. And we still got to squeak those games out by one. So for us, it's you know our identity is to be a, a tough, nasty, gritty defensive and rebounding team. We didn't display that at all. Our guys knew that. So for us to get better, come in, watch film, right, study, learn what we did wrong, which was a lot of things, but continue to get better. So then translate that from the film room, get on the court, which we did today. We got better today, and that's all we can ask. And again, our goal is always to be the best team we can be by the end of the year. That's the ultimate goal. We're never going to hit the ball and run the third. So we got to continue to just keep tapping at the stone day by day, get 1% better, and hopefully by the end of the year, we're pretty good. And I believe if we can do that, you know, we'll, we'll be a force to be reckoned with. Now, it's not going to get any easier. Arkansas Friday night, top 10 team in the nation. What do you guys need to do in that game to be successful here tomorrow night? There's no question that they're really talented. They like to play very fast, very athletic. So for us, we need to stay disciplined. Right, so we got to take care of the basketball. That's first and foremost. If we turn the ball over, it, it could be a long night. So for us, we got to take care of the ball. We got to get shots. We need to we need to make sure that we make them play in the half court. Defensively, we have to continue to communicate. Uh, and if we do that, hopefully, the idea is to be be in the game under that four minute timeout and see where it goes. Coach, appreciate the time. Thank you. Go Rams. Join now with Khalid Moore forward. For Fordham and Khalid, bit of a homecoming for you back in New York. How did that first game feel in Rose Hill? Um, you know, it felt great, you know, being able to play back home, you know, in front of all of my friends and family. Uh, I felt like it was just a really good homecoming for me, so definitely. Now, playing in the ACC, you've played in big games. You've played in tournament games. How does that kind of experience help you for a matchup with Arkansas? Um, it's just being used to the competition, you know, uh, just being ready for whatever. So I feel like just having that amount of experience is definitely going to help along the line. Appreciate the time. Definitely. Always.